Oh man, what did I get in the mail today? Well, I guess since my channel is 1% unboxing videos, why don't I increase that 100% by looking at this thing that I got today in the mail. Because, you know, why not? Pretty big deal. I haven't got a new video card in a long time. Since everyone loves to hate on this thing, I figured I'd give it my uh, thoughts. Anyway, as you can probably understand by the title of the video, it's, uh, well, let's see what it is. Lots of paper, and a box with the bag on it. Now I ordered this direct uh, from them. Man, this thing is heavy. Holy cow, is it heavy. Man, that is a heavy box. I don't know why it's so heavy. Guess this thing is completely made out of metal. Hold on a second. Alright, so that's what I got here. 2080 Ti. My, um, my 9 series Titan X is just not doing it for me these days. I don't know. The cooler on it, I had a hybrid one. And the uh, fan cooler crapped out, so I um, did a um, liquid cooler on it. Oh, look at that. Damn, this thing is big. Nothing else inside. And, um, Jesus, this thing is really heavy. I mean, it's got to be solid metal. That's crazy. Build quality is outstanding, as it should be for a $1,300 video card. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm in my new location, and um, I actually hurt myself snowboarding. I got a fractured L2 vertebrae, and uh, so I can't really do a whole lot of fun outdoor stuff. So with my Titan X kind of not really... Uh, performing all that well with the new water-cooled situation I have, I decided to go ahead and upgrade. And everyone that's like, oh, you should go to 1080. Dude, dude, the prices of this and the 1080 are identical online. And it's, if you actually try to buy one of these things, it's nearly impossible to find one at all. Oh, this is so satisfying right there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Anyway, this thing is very well built. Beautiful back plate on this thing. Made of either alloy or aluminum or something. Very nice build quality. I'm surprised. I was expecting it to be... Um, not expecting it to be like... I mean, this is like a solid piece of metal. This is crazy. I was expecting it to be really plasticky and junky. This middle part here, I think, is plastic. I'm not 100%. It may be alloy. It feels plasticky, as is the fans, which are very nicely. Looks like it's got some nice bearings on that. As you can see, the gigantic heat sink all the way through this. Pretty impressive. It's It's got to be... I don't know, three or four pounds maybe. It's pretty heavy. But uh, yeah, I bought it direct from them. So anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up on what's going on. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of sous vide videos lately because it really hurts my back to do, you know, slight bending over and things like that. So just figured I would uh, join in on the train here and uh, show you, you know, what this is all about. It's got two big power connectors here. I'm going to plug this bad boy in and see how it performs. Um, I'll show you real quick what my current setup is. 
But uh, what's, what is in here anyway? I'm curious now. Little flap. Looks like we got a. Uh, I don't know. Not sure what that is. Some kind of display port to. I don't know what the heck kind of uh, adapter that is. VGA. Display port to VGA cable, I guess, because it probably doesn't have yeah, it doesn't have a VGA on this one, which makes sense. But I don't know why you'd be using this powerful a card with an old-fashioned VGA monitor. And then, uh, got this here, a couple of yeah. If your thing doesn't work, send it back probably. It's like the stupidest, there's like two words per page on this thing. I, I don't even know. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'll show you what my current setup looks like. It's pretty ghetto. But uh, anyway, I will uh, show you that here in a sec and we'll plug it in. We'll see how it performs compared to my current setup. So here's my current getup. I got a... Water block hooked through my Swift Tech H140. Um, it is basically running through the CPU afterwards and then getting cooled in the small radiator. It's doing okay, but on this particular uh, on this particular benchmark, it's getting about 12 frames per second, which is obviously not that great. It's obviously a very new, heavy-duty. Um, heavy-duty uh, benchmarking program, but I'm going to show you what the GTX 2080 gets after this. Okay, so here's a view of it without the uh, case cover on. Uh, basically, the water goes from this reservoir here, where it gets cooled, goes into the video card, through the video card cooler, back into the CPU, uh, through the CPU water block, back up into the, the cooler radiator again. The fan blows it out. Um, so basically what I need to do is remove this black uh, hose, plug that into the CPU, and then remove the other one. All right, so here's my card. Took it out. I actually had a nice bowl, but here's the old water block. This thing's really heavy too, but it's also a gigantic solid piece of acrylic. And uh, it's got a nice... Um, it's a Swift Tech block. It, does, it did pretty well, you know? Um, anyway, that's that. Size-wise and everything like that, it's pretty similar, you know? And weight-wise, I mean, this, this thing here is almost the same weight as this freaking gigantic water-blocked uh, prior Titan X. It's pretty heavy. Um, this thing here is... is Pretty robust and made with real good quality. One little snafu here in the installation is that this requires two 8-pin connectors. My prior Titan X had a 6 and an 8-pin connector. So i got to actually plug two of these in. One here, one here. Wrap it all the way through and then in there. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Honestly, I can't believe how freaking power hungry this thing is that it needs two of these things. It's crazy. Good thing I got a nice adaptive VGA1, VGA2. Nice adaptive power supply, 1000 watts, which should be plenty. Yeah, see what happens. Hopefully, this thing doesn't catch on fire or something crazy. Looks like it's working. All right, I'll get you the uh, the benchmarks and stuff once I get the uh, drivers installed and all this stuff set up. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this is the Uni Engine Valley benchmark. It's an older benchmarking program. Uh, the Titan X didn't do that great. You know, 50 frames per second, and I was running it in my widescreen uh, format, 3440 by 1440. Um, it's 
it's okay, nothing special. Um, and here's what the 2080 Ti did. Um, almost double the frames per second, almost double the score, which is pretty much what I've been noticing through the um, you know, initial uh, process here of using it. So um, it's obviously a huge upgrade. And uh, let me show you a more intensive um, benchmark to really show you how uh, significant the difference is in this, in this card. So here is the Superposition benchmark. It's from 2017. It's the Uni Engine 2. I think it's for like VR or something. Anyway, as you can see, the Titan X did not perform all that well, uh, averaging about 12 frames per second. And this is also using the 3440 by 1440 setting. And uh, here is the 2080 Ti. So it's about two and a half times faster. Uh, in terms of score, and uh, basically the frames per second was roughly, uh, what, 29 frames per second average, um, which is really good. Um, it's an extremely strenuous test, and running it at that resolution that fast is pretty impressive. Um, so that's that. I got my new video card. I just want to let you know what's going on with my injury and everything. I will try to do some sous vide videos in the future. Uh, it's just a little difficult at this time, but... I want to let you know I'm not completely uh, bound out of those. So anyway, uh, going forward, I also might do some uh, video game streaming. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to find stuff to keep me entertained while I wait this, you know, 10 to 12 weeks for this dumb thing to heal, and then I can hit the slopes again. So anyway, thanks for watching if you made it this far, uh, and I will uh, see you guys soon.